Well, how's the spiritual workout plan going? Are you seeing some progress? Are you sore? Our series on core strength is designed to help all of us become spiritually strong. Spiritually strong as individuals, families, and of course, as a church. No more spiritual flabbiness is what Paul tells Timothy, and we're in agreement. Northwest Christian Church spiritual workout plan is one that Scott and the campus pastors have developed. We call it our discipleship journey. And this journey has three vital components, connect, grow, serve. And within each of these three areas, there are three next steps for each area. Our NCC app, brand new, all right, it will help you every step on this journey and will clearly identify your next step in the journey so that you can get better, so you can get spiritually stronger. By the way, if you don't have a smartphone or you're not familiar with apps, it's okay. You can set up your dashboard on your computer. If you have any questions, please reach out and ask. Well, last week it was connect. Connect with Jesus, connect with others. The three key steps, baptism, connect with Jesus, right? Worship, connect and worship with God and others. And then community, groups. We're asking you to give us eight weeks. They're gonna begin in October. Sign up this week. This will really help you connect in some very important ways. It will help you develop your core strength. So today, it's all about grow. God wants us to grow. Grow to become more like Jesus. Grow in his character, the way he thinks, the way he acts, his values, his moral character. Paul in Ephesians 4, he says in verse 15, God wants us to grow up like Christ in everything. So God wants us to what? To grow up. Northwest Christian Church is a Great Commission church. In Matthew 28, Jesus gives that Great Commission. Go into all the world. Go and do what? Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And then he says, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. So at NCC, we celebrate people coming to Jesus, connecting to him. But we know the second part of that Great Commission is to grow says, teach them to obey all my commands. This is one of the best definitions I know of spiritual growth. So spiritual growth is learning to obey everything Jesus commanded. And the truth is, the more we obey, the more we grow. The more you grow, the more obedient you become. So here's some good news. God is committed to your growth. He wants you to grow. More good news, Northwest Christian Church is committed to help you grow as well. Thus, we have this workout plan. But here's the kicker. You also must be committed to the process of what God wants you wants to do in your life. So if you want growth, again, in any part of your life, not just talking about spiritual, but training has to happen. I mean, nobody just wakes up with bigger biceps. Nobody wakes up one day and runs a marathon. Why anyone would want to run a marathon is beyond me anyway. But I, what I'm trying to say is this. There is a difference between training and just saying something, training and trying. It's true of anything in life, and it's certainly true of our spiritual growth as well. In fact, Paul starts off 1 Timothy 4, he says, train yourself to be godly. So let me ask you, are you growing? If not, hey, let's go, all right? See you next week.